Application two is topological sort, which we're going to think about in the setting of a problem called job scheduling. So job scheduling, we are given a directed acyclic graph. I want to order the vertices. so that all edges point from lower order to higher order. OK, directed acyclic graph is called a DAG. You should know that from 042. And maybe I'll draw one to kicks. Big graph. I've drawn, I've drawn the graph so all the edges go left to right, so you can see that there's no cycles here. But generally, you'd run DFS, and you detect there's no cycles. And now, imagine these vertices represent things you need to do. Uh, the textbook has a funny example where you're getting dressed. So you have these constraints that say, well, I've got to put my socks on before I put my shoes on. And then I've got to put my underwear on before I put my pants on, all these kinds of things. Uh, you encode that as a directed acyclic graph. You hope there's no cycles, because then you can't get dressed. Uh, and there's some things like, well, I could put my glasses on whenever, although actually, I should put my glasses on before I do anything else, otherwise there's problems. Uh, I don't know, you put your watch on at any time, unless you need to know what time it is. So there's some, some disconnected parts, whatever. There's some unrelated things, like I don't care the order between my shirt and my pants, or whatever. Uh, some things are unconstrained. What you'd like to do is choose an actual order to do things. You are, say you're a sequential being. You can only do one thing at a time. So I want to compute a total order. First I'll do G, then I'll do A, then, I'll, then I can do H, because I've done both of the, the predecessors. Then I can't do B, because I haven't done D, so maybe I'll do D first, and then B, and then E, then C, then F, then I. That would be a valid order, because all edges point from an earlier number to a later number. So that's the goal. And this is a, these are real job scheduling problems that come up. You'll see more applications in your problem set. Uh, how do we do this? Well, at this point, we have two algorithms, and I pretty much revealed it is DFS. DFS will do this. Topological sort is what this algorithm is usually called. Topological sort because you're given a graph, which you can think of as a topology. You want to sort it. In a certain sense, it's not like sorting numbers. It's sorting vertices in a graph. So hence, topological sort. That's the name of the algorithm. And it's run, B, run DFS and output the reverse of the finishing times of vertices. So this is another application where you really want to visit all the vertices in the graph. So we use both. We use this top-level DFS, so everybody gets visited. And there are these finishing times. So every time I finish a vertex, I could add it to a list. Say, so, OK, that one was finished next. Then this one's finished. Then this one's finished. I take that order, and I reverse it. That will be a topological order. Why? Who knows? Let's prove it. We've actually done pretty much the hard work, which is to say we're assuming our graph has no cycles. So that tells us uh, by this cycle detection that there are no back edges. Back edges are kind of the annoying part. Now they don't exist here. So all the edges are tree edges, forward edges, and cross edges. 
and uh, use that to prove the theorem. So we want to prove that all the edges point from an earlier number to a later number. So what that means is for an edge uv, we want to show that v finishes before u. That's the reverse, because what we're taking is the reverse of the finishing order. Okay, So edge uv, we want to make sure v finishes first so that u will be ordered first. Well, there are two cases. Case one is that u starts before v. Case two is that v starts before u. At some point, they start, because we visit the whole graph. This top, level, top loop guarantees that. So consider what order we visit them first at the beginning, and then we'll think about how they finish. Well, uh, this case is kind of something we've seen before. We visit u. We have not yet visited v. But v is reachable from u. So maybe via this edge, or maybe via some other path, we will eventually visit v in the recursion for u. So before u finishes, we will visit v. Visit v before u finishes. That sentence is just like this sentence. So same kind of argument. I won't go into detail, because we already did that several times. So that means we'll, vi we'll visit v. We will completely visit v. We will finish v before we finish u. And that's what we wanted to prove. So in that, that case is good. The other case is that v starts before u. Here you might get slightly worried. So we have an edge uv still, same direction. But now we start at v. u has not yet been visited. Well, now we worry that uh, there's uh, that we visit u. If we visit u, we're going to finish u before we finish v, but we want it to be the other way around. Why can't that happen? Because there's a back edge somewhere here. In particular, the graph would have to be cyclic. This is a cycle. So this can't happen. A contradiction. Uh, so v will finish before we visit u at all. So v will still finish first, because we don't even touch u, because there's no cycles. So that's actually the proof that topological sort gives you a valid job schedule. 